Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to actually migrate a Hyper-V virtual machine to Proxmox. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you can see here I opened my Hyper-V manager and actually I have set up a virtual machine inside it. So as you can see it's called Ubuntu so we can just start it and see what we get. So actually it's working uh, Ubuntu virtual machine, okay? So I will launch it in order to see actually this Ubuntu server which is running inside our Hyper-V, okay? So this is our virtual machine, so we can actually log in into it with our credentials. Here we go. So if we see the specification of this uh, actually virtual machine, we can see that the distro code name is Focal, it's Ubuntu 20.04, okay? So this is our virtual machine that we want actually to migrate to our Proxmox, okay? So in order to do that, it's pretty actually simple. So first of all, let's uh, get rid of this window here. Let's actually uh, just uh, stop our virtual machine, okay? Or actually just shut it down. Okay, so now our virtual machine is off as you can see for the state. So first of all, we need to know where the virtual hard disk of this virtual machine is located. Okay, so in order to do that, we right click on it, we go to the settings. And here we go, we have all the specification for this virtual machine and we have our hard drive which is actually, as you can see here, it's Ubuntu.VHDX which is the format used by actually Hyper-V, okay? And here we have the location of our virtual hard disk. So you can see here for Windows, it's located under Program Data, Microsoft Windows Virtual Hard Disk and we have our VHDX file, okay? So the next step in order to migrate this virtual machine to our Proxmox is actually to download a program that will allow us to convert this uh, format, Hyper-V format, from this format to a format that can actually Proxmox recognize, okay? So the program actually that we will be using it's pretty simple and it's called QEMU image for Windows so of course you will find all the link to this uh, programs on the description of this video okay so as you can see for this utility it's used for converting creating and consistently checking for various virtual disk format okay so as I told you will be using it in order to convert the VHDX format to the QCOW2 format or RAW format actually. And the command you can find it right here. Okay, it's pretty easy, pretty simple. So let's do that on our Windows machine, okay? So as I told you, the first thing that you have to do is to open your terminal and to go to the location where you have installed actually the QMU utility. So for me it's under program files QMU. And we use the command. So I'll use this command here QMU image convert. And here of course I'll have to specify the output format which is here I'm specifying the Proxmox format which is QCOW2 format. Okay. And of course we have to provide as an input 
this uh, ubuntu.vhx or vhdx file format that we actually have used and this is the location of it as you have seen before it's located under actually program data microsoft windows virtual hard disk just uh, uh, notation that uh, this uh, directory may be hidden so you have to show it on your explorer you have to actually go to the options and make sure that you can see system and hidden folders and files on the explorer okay so as i told you all you have to do is to, ex to execute this command in order to convert from the vhdx format to the qcow2 format so me i already done that and it take a little time for me about some minutes so you can see here the size so for the vhdx it was 3.12 gigabytes and also the converted format which is qcow2 is 2.56 gigabytes okay so now we have everything we need in order to actually begin the migration process okay so in order to migrate actually this uh, format qcow2 to proxmox we need another program which is very famous which is our filezilla actually uh, client so this is it so this is the filezilla client so you can download it from the internet for free and you go here open file manager you create a site and here you can actually specify the protocol because actually we use this program in order to transfer the image that we have just created which is this image here so we have to transfer this image to our proxmox so this is why i'm using actually farzella okay but before to use it you have to enter the credentials for your proxmox and also specify the protocol so here you have to specify as a protocol sftp which is ssh file transfer protocol and here of course you have to provide ip address of your proxmox and your credentials here i'm using the root and you can just connect to it okay so i will uh, connect to my proxmox and here the important also thing on the right side you have to know where your virtual images exist okay so for me they are under actually uh, because i'm using another storage called actually storage so for me my virtual or actually virtual images are located under mount pve storage which is the name of my storage and here you can find a folder called images okay so this is actually the folder that contains all the folders related to my virtual machines okay so for you if you're using the default one normally they are located under slash var slash lab slash images okay so let me just before transferring the image let's go to our proxmox so let me go to my proxmox here it is and actually i will begin the process by creating a virtual machine so i will click on my node and i will create a virtual machine okay and here the important parameter that you must actually know is this virtual id that is very important because it will allow us to create a folder associated to this virtual machine so let's name our virtual machine for example ubuntu i will name it uh, for example hyper v in order to distinguish it from the other virtual machines so this is the name of our virtual machine which is ubuntu hyper v so we go next so i don't need any media and here for the guest os i will just keep it linux and the kernel is 6.x okay i will go to the system i can leave that as default 
I will go to the next here for the disk I don't need any disk because I will use the disk that we have just converted so I can get rid of this uh, disk here for the CPU you can leave the default or just choose to choose actually the host CPU I will go next for the memory you will adjust it depending on your needs then you go next then here for the network you can choose whatever network that you want so I'll choose the default one which is VMPR0 and we go next so we have now everything in order to create our virtual machine so we click on finish and normally if we go to the left pane we can see that our virtual machine actually is being created so this is it so the important here thing is to remember actually the virtual ID which is in my case 147 okay so now that we have our virtual machine here so it's not started yet so all we have to do is to go to our shell of Proxmox so I will go to my shell here as you can see then I have to go to this directory where the virtual machine folder are exits okay so for me it's on slash mnt pve storage images okay so we have to go to this directory and create a folder associated to your virtual machine that we have just created okay so i will go to this directory here for me but for you it will be actually if you are using the default one slash var slash lib slash vz so i will leave that on the description and i told you we have to create a directory corresponding to your virtual machine ID so in my case it's slash 147 here we go and also you have to make sure that you have the right permissions for this uh, directory actually so this is the right permissions for this folder here here we go so now we have finished with creation of our folder so we will return back actually to our FileZilla in order to transfer the file. So let's open FileZilla. So this is the location where my QCOW2 file exists on Windows. And this is actually the location of the virtual machines on uh, Proxmox. So here you can see that uh, my folder doesn't appear. So sometimes you have to reconnect to the Proxmox in order to see the folder that we have just created okay so let's verify that so let's actually disconnect and reconnect once again so I will connect to my Proxmox here we go I will go to the directory MNT PVE storage images Okay. and indeed you can see now that I have this folder 147 so let's go inside it so of course it's empty then we start the process of transferring the image so I will click on this QCOW2 image and I will just drag it to the corresponding folder so now all we have to do is to wait for the process to finish okay so it's transferring here 2.6 gigabytes of data to the corresponding folder okay okay now as you can see all transfer has been finished so we have transferred our QCOW2 image to the Proxmox corresponding folder okay so now we have finished with FileZilla so let's just close it so now we have to run a very important command in order to attach actually this image to the corresponding virtual actually machine so let's execute this command qm rescan and it will actually scan all the volumes and the important message that you must actually have is this one virtual machine 147 add 
unreferenced volume so this is the volume that we have transferred via Farzilla so it was added to the configuration of the virtual machine 147 so you must have this message if you don't have it so you are on the wrong directory okay so now everything is okay we can return back to our virtual machine on Proxmox here we go so this is it so it's not yet started because we have to do something you have to go to the hardware section and you can see here it's unused disk and it's referencing actually the QCOW2 image that we have transferred so all we have to do is to click on it and edit it and we choose the bus or the device so it's SCSI device and we have all we have to do is actually to click on this add in order to add it and here we go you can see now that it has been added as storage okay and the next step is that you actually uh, configure the boot in order to boot with this hard disk here so you go for this time to the option sections and here is the boot order so you have to double click on it or edit it and this is our SCSI disk which is .qcow2 so you have to enable it there we go and of course to drag it to the first position so this is all what you have to do so now when the virtual machine starts it will boot with this uh, hard disk here that we have actually just transferred so we click on the ok so now everything is ok this is the moment of truth so let's start our virtual machine and see if we get something so I will click on the start button here and of course also the console in order to see what we get so this is our virtual machine that is starting so we have all the images all the actually messages that appear and indeed we can see that it's an Ubuntu virtual machine so this is it Ubuntu 20.4.6 so let's log in using the credentials here we go and indeed I am in you can verify also distribution name here we go we have the same code name that we have on our actually Hyper-V this is in reality the virtual machine that was previously on Hyper-V and we have transferred it to our Proxmox server so as you can see it's a pretty simple process that you have actually just to follow the steps in order to migrate in Hyper-V virtual machine to Proxmox so if you like the video don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a like or comment or as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye